Morning, folks. Welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here for this Tuesday morning. A beautiful Tuesday morning here in Flora. Do appreciate you tuning in as my guests are uh, young ladies from Frontier Community College. I have Kara Blanton down there, uh, Carrie Halbert here in the middle, and Julie Bryant here on my side. And uh, we'll be talking about all different kinds of things going on at Frontier Community College right now and in the near future. And we'll be doing all that here in just a little bit as uh, the ladies and I will get going. But again, thanks very much for joining us here on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. That's uh, Channel 3 here in Flora. It is, uh, ch pardon me, Channel 3 in Salem. Channel 100 here in Flora. Channel 25 also here in Flora, depending on if you have fiber. Channel 100 down in Jeff, Sesney, Louisville. We appreciate you tuning in also on YouTube. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today as what is going on here this Tuesday, July 3rd? Well, of course, one day shy of of the uh, big holiday so everybody's probably hearing all the stuff blowing up but uh, if you're uh, if if you're getting out and about in, in Effingham County they're gonna have a health screening today started about an hour ago it's gonna go till 11 a.m. the Effingham St. Anthony Memorial Hospital in Effingham County Health Department will have screenings at 901 West Virginia Avenue in Effingham that'll be again today from 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. what is is uh, going on elsewhere. Well, the Better Breathers Club uh, support group meeting will be uh, going today. That's at 1 o'clock. Going to be over in Olney at the Carl Richland Memorial Hospital. The Better Breathers Club support group meeting at 1 o'clock uh, and uh, again at the Richland Memorial Hospital private dining rooms. I got to ask you girls and you can tell me if you noticed over the weekend or if you heard anything over the weekend about this uh, African dust storm. I did not. No. I heard, but I... I'm not really giving, I don't need details. You didn't know what was Can going you tell on? Me any details? I'll tell you the details. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right, Gary. Thank you so much. <laughs> the, uh, there was this dust cloud that came over the Atlantic Ocean from Africa. It hit Houston over the weekend. It kind of came up, uh, actually hit Houston like Friday night, came up the, through the plains and hit uh, Illinois. Saturday and yesterday, it was you. If you went out and uh, you tried to see what well, should have been a normal day, there was a gray haze over everything down close to the ground, and this was the uh, this was the African dust cloud. Huh. Now it wasn't a death cloud or anything <laughs> like that, but it was an African dust cloud, and yeah. and, uh, and and they told folks who had uh, breathing issues they wanted to stay in and probably make sure you uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, make sure you take care of that so you don't uh, have issues. But yeah, Better Breathers Club probably will talk about that today at one o'clock. Also, the Flora Kiwanis Fourth of July celebration. It's Tuesday night. It's tonight. Flora Kiwanis Club will be, uh, well, they'll start tonight. They're going to have rides out there at Charlie Brown Park starting at 5 o'clock tonight. And then tomorrow on the 4th, the uh, Dazzle Dance and Tumble. Going to start around 11 a.m. Rides from noon till 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Karaoke tomorrow at 2 p.m. Benefits of the concert. Uh, benefits the benefits are the name of the group. They'll be in concert from 7 to 9, and then fireworks following that, and that again out at Charlie Brown Park, the Flora Kiwanis Club two-day celebration. That's great. Uh, what is on television today? If you're looking uh, around to see what's on, something to watch on TV, well, at 11 o'clock. Trust me, this is the best thing you're going to see all day long. It's it's just an amazing thing, and and I think the ladies will join me in in probably wanting to be a big fan. It's the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest on ESPN <laughs> at 11 o'clock on. Uh, although that's the Fourth of July, yeah, I'm skipping ahead to the Fourth of July for that. But that but that to me is uh, one of the best things going. You guys ever watch that, I Julie? Haven't. You watch a ton of that. Don't I you? haven't seen that. No, no, you don't watch that. How you seen? It? Yes. Yeah, 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 you, you watch yeah. it. So, so uh, you think you could? I don't think I could eat seventy hot dogs. No, I think the record no is way. like <laughs> record is like seventy hot dogs. How many do you think you could go, Carrie? Oh, one. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's all coming up. That'll be tomorrow. Other things going on today, more close to home. Well, actually, this isn't closer to home. This is the World Cup over in Russia on Tuesday. The final games of the rounds of 16. It's Sweden versus Switzerland. That'll be at 9 o'clock. That's on Fox. And then Colombia takes on England in the final round of 16 game. To get down to the quarterfinals, that'll be over in Rostov, Russia. And that's also on Fox at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. How about Major League Baseball? Always uh, good to get in the habit in early July. Major League Baseball. Detroit plays the Cubs on Tuesday. The Today at 120. Michael Fulmer on the mound for Detroit. He'll take on Kyle Hendricks for Chicago. That'll be on NBC Sports Channel. Channel 643. Again, that at 1 o'clock. 120 first pitch. Also uh, on uh, Major League Baseball Network starting at 5. Now, this is an interesting time. 5.05 p.m. for some reason. Boston plays at Washington. Brian Johnson taking the mound for the Red Sox. He'll go up against Tanner Rourke for the Washington Nationals. Again, that'll be on ML B Network, Channel 599. Also, uh, St. Louis out on the west side of the country. They're going to play against Arizona tonight. That'll be at 840. Jack Flaherty taking the mound for the Cardinals. He's going to go up against Zach Greinke. And then finally, also back on the uh, oh, by the way, that was on Fox Sports Midwest. And finally, on the uh, Major League Baseball Network, again, it's the LA Angels traveling to Seattle tonight at 910. Andrew Heaney on the mound for the uh, Angels, and he'll go against Wade LeBlanc for Seattle. Seattle playing very well. All those uh, games coming up today should be a lot of fun. Do stick around. We've got the Frontier Community College ladies. We're going to talk about all kinds of things going on at Frontier. When we return, I'll be back with Kara Blanton, Carrie Halbert, and Julie Bryant. We'll be back right after these words. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. My name is Rose. Smoking caused my lung cancer. I was on chemo and radiation. They took part of my lung out. 
And they put this in me to drain the fluid. Every day I prayed that they would remove it. My tip is be careful what you wish for. That chest tube hurt a lot more coming out than it did going in. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Morning, folks. Welcome back to uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on on Wabash uh, Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey. I do appreciate you tuning in. I have uh, fine young ladies here from Frontier Community College. Kara Blanton is the academic advisor over at Frontier. We're joined by Carrie Halbert. By the way, welcome, Kara. Thank you. I didn't mean to not let you talk and say <laughs> I didn't mean to give you short shrift. Yeah. My neighbor, by golly, she gets, right. she gets to see me walk by with my dog. That's and, right. and dodge uh, all kinds of things. <laughs> also uh, here uh, in, in the middle is uh, Carrie Halbert. How are you today, Carrie? I'm great. How are you? What's your gig there? I'm the coordinator of retention and recruitment. Coordinator of retention and recruitment. So my what? job is to get them there and keep them there. This is the cool part. This is, and I've talked to Carrie about this before, but a lot of what Carrie does is she mainly makes sure that kids go to class. Right? Yes. Are you a truant officer? Uh, yeah. Basically, and they do their homework. You yes. do their homework. Yeah, no, she I, does I mean, their I homework. I make sure they do their homework. Oh, you I don't do their no. homework. No, I make sure they do their homework. Oh, okay, yeah. she doesn't do the homework. <laughs> no. And. Uh, Julie Bryant here put all this together. God bless Julie. And she's like a wrangling cats. Julie is the coordinator of public information and marketing. Yes, that's correct. Well, congratulations. Thank and you. and so you have been at Frontier College a little bit less time than each of these two, yes. right? Nine months. Nine yes. months. Nine months exactly today. So. But it also it also I mean it, you're 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 a legacy though, aren't you? Does does that even count that you've only been there? nine months well uh it's kind of interesting the office that i'm in at the college is been passed down in the family my aunt worked there she was the director of business years ago oh really and then uh, my mother worked there as well so. yeah now they've both retired yes, right they have both since retired okay so. well congratulations Thank so, so I, in the same office even. yes wow. it's crazy hope it works out better for you than it did for me yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i was in my grandpa's office i'm not there anymore <laughs> But uh, that, that's cool. All right, I got to ask, ladies, there's all kinds of things uh, going on at a college in the, su in, the sp in the springtime. In fall, you think there's always stuff. What are we talking about here in the summertime? Is, does anything happen at a college in the summertime? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Who are, wants Kara, what's going on? We are uh, still registering students for fall. So, oh, really? Yes, there is still time. Um, please, if you are interested in registering for any classes, for any programs that we have, whether it be a transfer degree or any of our career and technical education programs, um, give us a call. Um, you can apply online. It's typically the first step at iecc.edu. Mm -hmm. And then um, you, Carrie usually makes a contact um, having you uh, come to campus and then You'll meet with me, and we'll get you registered and all signed up for classes. What kind of a – Carrie, tell me, walk me through the process. Say uh, I am a recent high school graduate, mm -hmm. and I thought I would go into the workforce, uh, but uh, things just aren't working out. I don't like my boss. I want to go back. It's probably getting a lot of folks who want to say, I don't like working. I want, yep. Well, it'd be, it's a different kind of working. Yeah. But, they, but uh, you, you want to go into uh, an educational field. Yep. Walk me through the process. So – They'll contact me or I'll contact them either way. And Who? so, I, well, students, prospective right. students. And then I ask if they've had any placement testing, like ACT, SAT, Accuplacer. Is that a requirement? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. They have to do some sort of placement testing. That way we will know on what level of classes they can take. Do they need to start out with some brush up classes like remedial English or math? 
or whether they, they have a, whether they have a, a high school diploma mm -hmm. or anyway, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we okay. need to know kind of where to start them, and then we'll I'll, once they do that, then we'll set up the um, academic advising appointment. Okay, and, and that's with that's with Kara. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Yep, and we have our transfer advisor too, Eric Reeser. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What's he do? He he's advises well. Kara advises the students that are in the career technical education. Okay. Um, and she'll she'll explain what those um, yeah. are. And Eric does the advising for transfer. So if you want to get your associate's degree um, in science, science and arts, or arts, and go to a four-year university, then he does that. Advising. There's two different. There's two different of you then, huh? Mm -hmm. I did yeah. not realize that that's what Eric was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, tell me then about you're not you're in the you're in the certif certificate, not the career and technical education. Career there are technical degrees education and certificates. Your degrees are done. Yes. I mean, no. somebody could get your degree and they are... They're they, ready to go yeah. into the workforce. Yep. Okay, right. tell me tell me what uh, Frontier offers in such things. Um, we have automotive technology, construction technology, electrical distribution systems, which is a lineman program, yeah. electrical lineman. Um, we have health informatics, phlebotomy, Okay, you're going to have to tell me what what are health informatics. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. you could probably tell me what's involved in all of them because the automotive technology, I mean, it, it must be changed changing year after year yes. after year. And that's one thing we really strive to do um, with, we have advisory councils, which mm -hmm. are made up of industry members working in the community um, okay. and, and in bigger companies beyond Fairfield. Um, we get together with them once or twice a year. Uh, they ask, they um, help us decide how we can improve our programs to make our students more employable and ready for the industry demand when they leave us. So. You're not really just the shining city on a hill. You're basically having you're 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 trying to improve all the time, right? Absolutely. We strive to improve every day with really? our programs. Yeah, and with our a lot of our career and technical education programs, um, they're not just a you get it and you have to go to work. Um, a lot of our programs and our dean, um, Dr. Brunsma, ha has worked really hard and continues to um, to improve um, our transferability with uh -huh. our career and technical education programs. Sure, we have a lot of affiliate of affiliation agreements with universities. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, um, to transfer some of those programs on to go ahead and get a bachelor's degree with those. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, say I. Uh, um, in the tests you're talking about, well, are any of these gonna? Are they just determining my level, or are they determining what I'll be good at? Determining your level. Determining my level. Okay, so what if I if I walk into your office, Kara, mm -hmm. and I don't have a clue what I want to do, but everybody tells me to go to school. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what will you ask me? Well, um, I'll ask you. What kind of things interest you? Okay. What are you good at? What interests you? Because if you pursue a job that um, you are interested in and you love, then you'll not feel like you have to go to work every Vacation day. Vacation every day. That's isn't right. It? That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, and, and you know, that's the thing. I, I'm certain. Uh, how long has the automotive technologies been in at uh, Frontier? What five, six years now? Oh no, 2003, We're, I believe. Yeah. Oh really? Yes. Wow. But it continues to grow. I mean, and. There's things are changing to adapt to all the latest technologies. Right. So one thing that we like to tell them is they're NATEF master mm -hmm. level certified. Okay. And within the last year, we received Snap On multimeter certification. What's that? We can offer that. So Snap On is a brand that's widely recognized. Like the Snap On tools. Yes. 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 Okay. And the multimetering has to do with the troubleshooting. It's more of like an electronic version. And so we offer that. That was our first class. This was the first class that got to get certified in that. How about that? They took a test, and I believe everyone who took the test pass with hey. flying colors and so once they graduate then they're an in-demand asset in the workforce that they have that the other programs yes. may not. And another another thing when we're talking about the automotive technology degree program that's um, employers really like to see. Mm -hmm. um, I am in charge of a grant at Frontier. It's called the Perkins Grant. It's a So you got grant. the money. <laughs> you got Some the purse strings going. Some of it. <laughs> <laughs> but the students um, are allowed to take a student, it's basically a practice ASE test, which okay. ASE is nationally known. Um, that's what, you know, auto mechanics or people working in the auto industry take to ASC certification that's right, right. yes mm -hmm. and so with that grant money our students get to take the student practice test and if they pass that with a certain level required to pass a real ASE test our Perkins grant money will pay for those students to take a real one to sit and take a real that's one. So, probably a pretty big save. so in the automotive technology degree it's a they consider it a two-year program right and within that two-year time frame a student would have the opportunity to have a paid for 
two times a, a different ASE test. So they could actually graduate from a program with two ASE certifications. How tough's the, the test? Snap-on meter. They're pretty tough. They are tough. They students really have to study. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I, I just, I mean, do, do, do you have to learn how to, like, uh, uh, fix a tire or something like that? Oh, there are way more advanced <laughs> than that. <laughs> are much more advanced than I, that. I, I gotta tell you i think i could i could change a tire and <laughs> and i really and i could put gas in the car mm -hmm. uh but this day and age of the new vehicles it makes it to, they're tough to do and, and 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 you guys frontier frontier is getting you have agreements right with toyota and some of the other co companies that give you uh tools right and a couple years ago we received two highlanders from the toyota plant over in princeton Indiana. i was thinking so they yes. donated those to our program and so the student uses those all the time they mm -hmm. use that in the program uh, we're yeah. talking about all kinds of different things here with these uh, ladies from frontier community college that's kara blanton down there this is carrie halbert in the middle uh, this is julie bryant next to me you're watching big talk with bruce dickey right here on wabash catch tv in salem on channel three here in flora on channel one 100 or 25 channel 100 if you're on fiber and the girl the ladies i trying not to say girls <laughs> i don't be offended if i do okay, okay. I, okay because the, the the young women the women and i will be i probably should just say these people <laughs> the, these people and i will be back immediately after these words i don't mind it's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. The county hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I can serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is, it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform.
At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome back, folks, to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey. Thanks very much for joining. We're talking to Kara Blanton along with Carrie Halbert and uh, Julie Bryant here uh, at the, and we're talking about Frontier Community College uh, on uh, here on Wabash Catch TV. And I appreciate you watching here in Flora as on Channel 100 in Salem on Channel 3. We uh, good to have you here. Okay. Girls, we got them in school, right? Mm -hmm. yep. We did the. Uh, we've got the academic advisor. We got the, so we got me. We're, we're going to learn. I'm going to learn how to do more than change a tire. <laughs> All right. right, good deal. All right, so good. Going to know how to do the snap-on tools. I might even take the uh, the. Or hey, wait a second. I don't have any money. How am I going to pay for this? <laughs> what am I doing? How, how am I going to do this, Kara? Well, the first step in applying for financial aid yes. um, is the you go online to www.fafsa.gov. Oh, this is the FAFSA thing. Yes, F-A-F-S-A dot gov. Okay. You fill out the application online uh, and put, our, put Frontier School Code right. on there if you want to come here. And then uh, usually within two to three days, sometimes a week after you complete it online, because okay. you have to put in your tax information and all right. that. Um, then once you put our school code on, within about a week, our financial aid office will be able to pull in that information. They'll mail you a letter asking you for some additional information, some sure. additional paperwork, and well, things that probably, like that. Well, I mean, that would, and that's going to happen at any school, right. and not not just Frontier. It's going right. to happen anywhere. Right. Uh, once you complete your file with financial aid, um, it's usually about another week or so, depending on how busy they are, um, and then they'll mail you a letter telling you what you might be eligible for. Do you have? Um, Seems like I, I recall uh, you folks having the occasional FAFSA night yes. or something mm -hmm. like yes. that. When do you do that? It's usually October, mm -hmm. uh, the very be very beginning of October, first few days in October. The, the FAFSA applications um, the last couple of years have actually opened up in October, October 1st, mm -hmm. for that following fall. Okay. So, do, and do, do students have to uh, refile every year? Yes, yes. Oh, absolutely. they do. Yes. yes, it's an annual yeah. thing. That's kind of a pain in the mm -hmm. neck. <laughs> yeah. It is. Wow, that's too bad. That, that <laughs> but once stinks. you've completed the FAFSA online the first time, your personal information is in there. You just log in with your PIN and password that you had um, started the first time. Wait a you minute. Just You're update your taxes. I'm going to have to <laughs> be expected to remember a PIN? <laughs> Write it down. And yeah. password? Yeah. Yes, yep. you are. Oh. <laughs> but usually when they come to their advisement appointment, we've already talked to them about applying for FAFSA. So, I mean, they're not going to be registered for classes without us knowing you know how they're going to pay for classes. Oh well, no, no, that's probably true, right. wouldn't it? They're at least in the process of right. applying for financial aid because right. our first contacts with them, that's included in there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and apply for your financial yeah. aid. Oh, wow, that's that's pretty good. Um, okay, so uh, Kara, we've got we've got them in school. Yes. Okay, we're we're going to school now. We're we're doing we're having all kinds of fun. It's it's a freshman party time at school, right? We're all having we're not studying. We're not doing any of that business. They better be. <laughs> We're, now we, we come into a little bit more what Carrie does, right? Yes. All right. Now, what exactly do you do, Carrie? I'll get. So, I'll, now, hold on a second, Julie. I'll get to you too. That's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfectly Don't fine. worry. I'll get to you. All right, Carrie. What are we doing? So, if a student is not being very successful in the classroom, you like, you keep an eye out, don't you? This oh, is this yes. is something. This is something, and I does. I would have hated me in college. Do other do other <laughs> colleges all do this through the IECC or yes. or mm -hmm. yes. do they really? Mm -hmm. Do other major colleges do what you you do um, like universities? They, like they typically have like an academic center. But as far, but as far as like a retention coordinator, I'm not sure about that. Okay, all right. Tell people what you do. Okay. All right. Say, say, 
little hypothetical Bruce is, uh, <laughs> he likes being away from home, maybe. So if Bruce has a D or an F, or if he's not going to class, or if he's not. I had not, that. I had that my freshman year. <laughs> Eric, I, I had both those things. If he's not doing his homework, then okay. the instructor. I did now. Yeah, I had that too. The instructor will do what we call a progress report. Really? So they go online and they send me a progress report. It automatically goes to me, the student, and the advisor. So you get the progress reports like the midterms. That, that's well, it's whenever. I mean, it could be like the second week of class. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. If they are, uh, yeah. So I'm really week. cutting early. <laughs> oh, yeah. The earlier, the better, really. To so, get a hold of them. To yes. get a, okay. Yeah. All right. And then I call the student and say, hey, what's up? Why aren't you going to class? Yeah. You know, do you need a tutor to help you academically? So you say, and, and the, the students say, hey, look, I was... I really almost had Fortnite cleared. <laughs> I had I, I had this game going really good. I had like eighty or ninety yeah. out of a hundred cleared. Sometimes I've encountered those problems. Have you encountered those? I'm like, stay off the video games. <laughs> yes. Have you really encountered those? Yes. Kids? No kidding. Um, do, the, do the kids understand that the the video? Uh, do they will they understand that could be a problem? Well, I, I mean, tell them. <laughs> well, after you tell them that, but I mean, you're a parent. You yes. tell you tell kids all all kinds of things all the time Every that they day. may not understand I or guess. may not agree with. Yes. The, the, well, the, I the, I tell them you know especially our athletes. I mean they're there to you know play. Well, you're there to, yeah. to play sports. But I'm like, well, if you don't do if you don't get it right academically, then you can't play sports. That's right. So you have to become stay eligible and get good grades to even play. Do you deal more with the athletes than? Uh, uh, it's anybody? about even. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you know, how many full-time students are there? Uh, are the athletes? Do the athletes make up a bulk of the full-time students, or are the, most of the full-time students people have jobs elsewhere? Right? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing about having the transfer in the career and technical education mm -hmm. that we have a broad range of ages. We so we mm -hmm. do have your traditional students that have graduated high school and are starting out fresh in college, and then you have others that have. Um, there may be a displaced worker, like you said, they change their mind and want right. to navigate a new career yeah. path. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. How, uh, um, what kind of uh, percentage do you think are you dealing with, Carrie, of uh, full-time students versus uh, maybe just folks who are overloaded uh, with, uh, you know, ad adult um, education? Um, I don't know the percentage, but I mean, it's pr it's about the same for. Is that right? Yeah. All right. What's the uh, uh, I brought up? Honestly, I mean, I think the older students, the non-traditional students, are probably more focused, really, and do better in the classroom because they know and they they've had those life experiences mm -hmm. where, you know, it's makes a big difference. It does yeah. make a difference, and so I I do mainly deal with the younger students. Mm -hmm. I gotta know that. <laughs> I, I gotta know. I, I was bringing up Fortnite to uh, just uh, I was just throwing something out there. What is the craziest story that you've had of some kid that was uh, was sloughing off? I mean, uh, you know, do you have any story? do you have oh. any uh, good one? A kid who basically just said, "Hey, look, I, 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 I a hypothetical guy might have said, I turned twenty one this week. I'm not going to class. <laughs> I've not had that. You haven't had that. Well, no, your I kids mean, aren't that old. But like the student <laughs> might tell me something, but then their roommates might be like, "Oh no, he was um he was playing video games all night long." Is that so, right? Yeah, they'll tell him. I mean, the student may not tell me the truth, but I might hear otherwise. <laughs> you are big brother, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My heavens. Uh, I've been called mom a few times. Really? Yeah. Uh, but no, but but for the most part, and and you're. Your job is there for a purpose. And, yes. I mean, you're not just, it, it's to help they these kids. They know I'm not messing around. Like, I, like, to, this week, I went to a class. It's to summertime. This no. is the time you goof off. No. Oh, no. No, I went no. to find a student before class, and they didn't go. They didn't show up. But, I mean, I will go and, and seek them out to talk to them So, about did you find this student who no. didn't actually show up for mm -hmm. class? No. Are you, uh, you've, uh, you've, you've got your eye out ready yes. to uh, do a little scruff grabbing, huh? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's so that's cool. But um, how many uh, how many kids do you think that you lose? That I mean, you're you're working your your tail off to keep mm -hmm. these kids in, but some kids you, you, they end up uh, they, they lose they lose right. out, don't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that does happen. They just don't have that motivation to finish. 
and or other or other factors do or other things in. Yes. Yes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's just family issues, right. or yeah. daycare right. issues, Still transportation. Sure. You know, yep. all kinds of different, mm -hmm. all kinds of different things. That's fascinating. I did not realize that each college had that. I, that mm -hmm. In hypothetical guys' experience, there was none of that. <laughs> was it no either? accountability? <laughs> there were, no, there was a lot of accountability, but there was just none from the school telling you. Yeah. They said, "They said, hey, we got your check," yeah. and, and that's that's the difference between the IEC schools and Frontier. Mm -hmm. You're not just one of those type of folks saying, "Hey, we got your check. Let's no, move we're on." Not. All right. no. We're very. Uh, we like really want our students I to mean, succeed we do. and try to do everything we in do. our power to help. Tremendously them conscientious. Yes. yes. There you go. Uh, that's uh, that's Kara Blanton down there. That's Carrie Halbert there in the middle, and that is Julie Bryant here on the end. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey, and uh, the ladies from Frontier Community College and I will be back right after these words. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. My name is Brett and I used to smoke. I quit, but not until I got a serious gum disease. My tip to you is, your smile says a lot about you. What does this say? Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business.
Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. I do appreciate you tuning in here on Wabash Catch TV, Channel 3 over to Salem, uh, Channel 100 here in Flora, also Jeff, Sisney, Louisville, all over the place, and uh, worldwide on the YouTube there at the Big Talk with Bruce Dickey channel. My guest today right next to me is Julie Bryant. She is the uh, coordinator of public information and marketing at Frontier Community College. Next to her is Karen. Carrie Halbert. Carrie is the coordinator of recruitment and retention at Frontier. And down on the end, Kara Blanton, she's the academic advisor for uh, for uh, Frontier Community College. And we were talking a little bit about uh, some of your gig. You're mainly on the certificate side. Tell me a little bit about the transfer side, because a lot of the, the kids who come in are planning on going to a four-year school afterward, sure, aren't they? Sure, absolutely. Um, we have two main uh, transfer degrees. They're the Associate in Science degree or Associate in Science and Arts. Um, those are complete, basically that gets your core curriculum, your first two years at the university. Right. So whichever university. Your non-electives. <clears throat> right, right. Uh, and then once you get to university, you're typically junior level ready for your major, uh -huh. versus your major courses. Do you, um, how many schools will recognize uh, the associate's degree at Frontier, most of them in Illinois, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Um, most of the public universities in Illinois will take our full associate's degree. Um, some private universities um, are more picky just because, you know. Who's the pickiest? I guess this isn't your, really your bailiwick. Right. Eric would know, wouldn't he? Right, right. So but you don't want to name any, any uh, schools that are <laughs> Northwestern or something. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying they would. I'm just well, guessing. And still, some private universities will still take our associate's yeah. degree. It's yeah, just... Like, you we get all kinds of kids going to right. McKendry and that kind yes. of thing. Yes. We just typically recommend any university you're planning on attending, um, talk to that university, yes. meet with an academic advisor, have your transcripts evaluated, talk to someone about the classes you would like to take through Frontier. Um, obviously, it's a money saver. Oh, yeah. Uh, big time cost savings to attend Frontier first. Um, but anytime you're wanting to transfer definitely talk to that university about what classes because really the university is the only um, one that can tell you for sure what classes they're going to accept well i guess that makes sense because uh, uh yeah they're the ones that count right yeah right. you guys are helping them through a frontier but they're the ones that count uh, when, when you uh get to that uh how off it must be do you get kids that come back to school and uh and tell you how they're doing uh, as they're as they've gone to the four-year school mm -hmm. well, tell me about some of that some of the feedback you get yeah we love to hear back we love to hear from them we want to hear their successes beyond us um, if they have any suggestions for improving the experiences mm -hmm. they have with us versus at the university uh, one thing i see us probably changing a little bit in the future just to get the students a little more ready for the university um, they're already the application to apply for um, frontier is online mm -hmm. universities you have to do that you've had to do that for a long time yeah. um, same thing with um, even registering for classes really? because right now you meet with um, a, an advisor and we'll register you for your class we'll talk to you and Right. advise you on yeah. what you need to complete your program and then actually physically put it in the system and register you giving you a schedule well the universities you pretty uh, much have to register yourself yeah. through their online system yeah and so i see that probably going that way a little bit more i think uh, within so. iecc just so that the students who are transferring are a little more prepared for that when they go. well you know that does make some sense I, I'm, I'm trying to remember hypothetical guy uh, it, <laughs> if uh actually i don't recall ever ever even i met with like a, a counselors academic counselors once mm -hmm. like my freshman year mm -hmm. and then by the time i got to my senior year well again it was one of those type of things i was talking about where if i was on track i was on track if i wasn't on track i had to buy more buy more class exactly right? exactly and, and you guys are wanting to make sure the people having to, aren't having to do that oh absolutely we yeah. still want to meet with them and and make sure they're meeting their graduation requirements right. um and helping them transfer to the university as much as we can yeah um but it's not it, we don't want it to be a hindrance on them when they get to the university to be a total shock of sure. oh i've never had to do this before i don't know yeah. how so wow that's uh, that's something else do, do you do you find that who who here went to frontier i went for I 
Mm -hmm. I went for a little bit. I, I mean, was, I, I didn't graduate. But, I was going to say, I did not earn an associate's from Frontier, but when I was in high school, you I took did classes. lots of dual credit, mm -hmm. yeah. took lots of summer classes, and I went to a private university, and all of my credits transferred. Well, good so for I you. I transferred around 40 credits, and okay. I was able to graduate from college in three years. See, now that's the that's the key mm -hmm. that, po that folks don't recognize, do they? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it saved me, saved me a whole year, saved me thousands of dollars, and... It just it worked out great, and so it's something. Gary was smiling about that too, wasn't <laughs> he? Was. He? <laughs> He's very happy about that. Yeah. And at the time when you're in high school, you think I don't want to take a summer class. I'm mm -hmm. on break. Why do I have to do this? But I got that done, and I got so many general education requirements out of the way that I was able to focus on my marketing and management classes. Tell me about the marketing and management. How do you? How does one market Frontier Community College? I know that Carrie was saying that she goes to that. You're going to go to schools mm -hmm. uh, in October, over the course. We have like a recruitment trail so we go to all of the high schools you folks work together on that i guess she goes to the fairs but i usually kind of help her with getting some materials ready and lots okay. of giveaways so what do you do those. so <laughs> you, i you make the you make the the rulers and stuff to give away yes and the, i do yeah we do <laughs> that's work cool. on that that's fine yes. There's nothing wrong with this that. was that's part and parcel part of getting that job it's so exciting it's like christmas in my office i've been ordering all kinds <laughs> of giveaways I, I, I gotta tell you uh julie i didn't see you bring anything <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I forgot that. Uh, well, Actually, I'm, I'm astonished. Just down the street with Meager, we've ordered quite well, a bit okay, of okay, yeah, items. Okay, yeah, head, head that way <laughs> yeah. and go pick me up stuff. Yes. Or, there you go. Yes, I so see. that's part of the job is getting to order those things, and those go with her to the job fairs or any kinds of events that we have on campus or off campus. Um, I'm in charge of all the graphic design, running the social media accounts, so you can follow Frontier on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Good. Um, so we try and update the community on events any classes we're offering all kinds of announcements we just like to stay connected with the community I haven't had an opportunity to talk to anybody about it and I was wondering I it's it's something I've always enjoyed in the past and I was unable to make it this year how'd the uh, art fair go it went really it well we yeah, had so much participation fair. I can't remember the exact number of pieces but we had a huge amount of high school participation mm -hmm. both in Wayne County, Edwards County, Richland, Clay County, all over. Um, so lots of high school and adult categories, and we had a good turnout. I think we had over 200 mm -hmm. people come through. Now, I'm trying to remember. Did you have an auction or something at the end of that, no, or was it? We a, didn't, a, but we no. gave a best of show. Award, gave a best of show. I was trying to remember. And then we placed for second and third within each mm -hmm. of the six categories. You recall who won? Vicki Gifford was the, she got a first place, and then there was a high school student that did a best of show, and she literally took a bed sheet and was able to create a portrait on the bed sheet using, yeah, I think it was, it was really chalk neat. or charcoal or yeah, something. It was cool. Wow. So it was a really unique exhibit, and people, it was really catching their eye because you have all these paintings on the walls, and then this huge sheet was hanging, and it was really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, was the, uh, what was the image? Um, it was called I'm Tired, but it was a it was a portrait of a girl, and she looks like she's sleeping, and it's right on the bed sheet that she drew this, and it was really neat. It just mm -hmm. really caught your cool. eye. It really yeah. stood out. Uh, that, well, you know, that's uh, – who runs the art department? Is it uh, at uh, – at uh, Frontier now? Well, we just hired a new instructor for okay. the graphic art and design okay. program. Um, Cheryl Harrell is going to be teaching some of the classes, um, but we have adjunct instructors instructors that teach for the art classes sure. there at the college. Uh, that, that's really good. Uh, I, I was just wondering of that. I hadn't heard anything about it, and I and it was, uh, that's a spring thing anyway, yes, right? Every, you April, get, every, every April usually hosts Every it, April. So. Uh, well, that, that's pretty cool. Talking here today with, uh, again, Kara Blanton down there, along with Carrie Halbert and Julie Bryant from Frontier Community College. When we return, we're going to tell you what's coming up this fall as well as in maybe not quite till fall, before fall. Next, uh, later, is it later this month or next month? Next week. We have next week. <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to talk about all that kind of stuff when we return. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV, Channel 100 here in Flora, Channel 3 over in Salem. Do come back. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. 
Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Brian. I was in the military for 18 years. I joined the service so I could serve my country and see the world. But I smoked and I got heart disease. So a lot of the world I got to see looked like this. My tip is it's hard to serve your country when you're too weak to put on your uniform. Nation, <laughs> cried out loud. Maybe That's... look, I was your mom to keep you alive. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. I do appreciate you tuning in. Talking here today with some ladies from Frontier Community College as uh, we've been talking to Kara Blanton down there. She's an academic advisor. Kara Halbert there in the middle. She's a coordinator of recruitment and retention. And Julie Bryant next to me. She is the coordinator of public information and marketing. That sounds much like a... Uh, 1984 term or big brother type of term but that's cool uh, and, but speaking but she's got the coolest job though because she's the one who puts together the parties and all the stuff that's going the fun stuff it right is. it's a lot of fun and you've got something coming up next week what's so going on next week next week tuesday july 10th we have a star party that's going to be on our campus a uh, star party yes. so so you're wanting television stars to, <laughs> that would be is nice that what, is that what you're asking you want to make a special no. appearance <laughs> No, she I'm says. I'm we'll let you make a special appearance. Oh, I, don't know about um, that. I don't know if you're. How about the size you? of a planet? <laughs> Ken Harris, he's had many star parties over the years, and so he's going to be planning ours. He actually teaches astronomy at the college. Okay. So he's going to be um, kind of hosting that, and it's going to start at nine o'clock on our campus. It's Mason Hall. You would park there. Okay. He's going to have telescopes set up, and if it's a clear night, you should be able to see Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. 
all kinds of constellations. Do you have the ability to shut off all the, um, the yes, lights? we are turning off the lights. So that's why we request that you bring a lawn chair and you can bring a flashlight just to kind okay. of see your way around. Like I say, the parking lot there is typically pretty well yes. lit. Yes, we have the, the street lights there, really but lit. they will be turning mm -hmm. it off um, Probably You could probably go out into the middle of center field there or yeah. something like that. <laughs> and, and, find and a if good it's place. clear weather, we'll have it. If it's cloudy or rainy, we will have to cancel because then you can't see anything, unfortunately. What are the What is the occasion of July 10th? What are we going to see? What's the? Uh, That's what they say. It's when the Milky Way is directly overhead. That's why he's planned it for the middle of July. So okay. the planet Saturn, Jupiter, and he thinks Mars. Um, Depending on the time of night, probably. Yes. Probably yeah. it'll see Venus. I suspect. He thinks yes. You should be able to see that one. Um, globular be clusters, early. the Milky Way. There's a lot that you'll be able to see. Hopefully. Will there be? Is it BYOT? Bring your own telescope. No, we will have four set up total. We actually just got a brand new one in last oh, week. Really? So he put that together and he's going to have that ready. And then the college received a Walmart community grant about a month ago okay. um, to kind of help us out with different community events. And so we will have an ice cream bar. That's oh, you free. are. So we're using that to entice people if they'd like to join us. And well, yeah, ice cream, cream bar when you're fun. looking at the stars. That's cool. Yes, Nothing open wrong to all that. ages. Um, it should be a fun, fun event for the community. Well, wonderful. That's again uh, July 10th. Uh, this, uh, on uh, Tuesday the 10th. Yes. Um, any more information anybody needs to call? Who would they get a hold of? If you have questions about it, you can call the college. Um, Megan Black is our community education instructor, or the director, so you can talk to her. And our phone number is 842-3711. And all the students in astronomy, presumably, are uh, are going to be there. Re yes, it should be required. a great event for them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ken probably. Harris is very passionate about astronomy and yeah, loves to teach people yeah, about it. Yeah, he really so. is. Um, okay, you said you had something coming up at the end of this month that it's more of an interaction with the community thing as opposed to a current student thing. Yes. Or will the current students be doing it too? They are they, prospective students. Pers I'm thinking about current students if they're going to be making slime too. All right, they're tell what's cool. going on at the end of the month. So, this is cool. Every summer we like to do kid camps for kids in our community and uh -huh. we planned a slime making class. It was about a couple weeks ago. We had slime it. making class. Yes, and they learned how to make three different kinds of slime. It's the new craze right now for kids. You combine glue contact solution baking soda and all kinds of add-ins it's a lot of fun so what happens um, when double dare goes off the air or something <laughs> like that, right? the kids so, make their own slime yeah so we had a total of about 50 kids and we were actually having to turn people away that morning because we were just too full so we've planned another one july 31st oh good and we'll be having that in the morning from 9 to 11 it's grades one through three okay the afternoon is grades four through six so you can call the college and sign your child up for that They'll have a lot of fun. They take the slime home, and they get recipe cards to learn how to make it at home. Oh, mom and dad will love yes, that. They will love that. That'll be wonderful. Yeah, mom and dad will get a thrill. Yes. I think make their own slime, that. right? That'd be a great time. Yes. That sounds like fun. It's a fun new hobby. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Try to uh, test and get different colors. Yes. That, that's pretty cool. Yes. Okay, you've got something coming up next month. The orientation. Oh, new, yes. new, new orientation. New orientation. Your orientation. Yes. Is that you? Okay. Car well, yeah, Carrie yeah, yeah. organizes it. Oh, so. okay. All right. Carrie, but tell me about it. It's a collaborative event. I couldn't do it with, oh, without really? ever. Oh, no. It's a huge <laughs> Tell me about orientation. When is that? Um, It's August the 8th. It's okay. Wednesday. Does, is that a requirement? Um, it's not required, but we highly encourage Highly it. suggest it. Yes. We register all new students for yeah. it. And it they is a very informative day to help them mm -hmm. be successful. So what happens? So they come, they arrive, and they'll, um, Jan and, and Dr. Brinsma and um, Dr. Egan will welcome everybody. And then we kind of break them up into groups, and they kind of travel around. Like the library, they're going to learn about, like, the library itself, and then some online, like they have an Entrada account. They'll learn about that. And they might go to the Bobcat Den. A what? Entrada account. I have no idea what an Entrada account is. So like, it's like a student portal. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I appreciate Thank you. that. Thank you. <laughs> then they go to, like, the Bobcat Den, and we'll have a faculty and student panel. Oh, nice. Um, and then they just go around and talk to – just do – different sessions it's very informative and helpful presumably yes, right? yes. Mm -hmm. and a oh. tour right and a yes. tour, yeah. tour of campus too. that i suspect with the uh, uh you're getting more kids now than you ever got mm -hmm. from outside of the area aren't mm -hmm. you yes mm -hmm. and the event is yes. on wednesday august 8th and so they'll have that from about 
8 until 12.30. Mm-hmm. So when does class start then? Class the start following the following Thursday. Week. Yeah. Oh, okay. 16, 16, 16, okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me again, how to, how, what's the best way for folks to, uh, to uh, sign in, sign on? We encourage you to apply online at okay. acc.edu okay. under admissions, uh, and then um, get a hold of us in advisement, and we'll get you scheduled mm-hmm. for placement test and or advising. Usually we can do it on the same day. So that sounds nice. wonderful. Yeah. That's Kara really Blanton. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, we didn't mean to step on you. I, I, you're out of time. <laughs> that's Kara Blanton. That, that's Gary yeah. Halbert, and that is Julie Bryant. <laughs> this is a big talk with Bruce Dickey. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great Fourth of July. We'll talk to y'all again soon. Have a great one.